are going to give you some ideas of what can you say in your text messages. Now, we know that the tendency is to only send out a text when we have something to market, something to sell, something to promote. And really, when you think about it, you don't want to be sending out text messages with absolutely no purpose. You do need to ask yourself, what is the purpose? I'm looking at my notes here. What is the purpose of your text? I mean, does it have a purpose? I think it's okay just ever so often to send out a funny meme just to make somebody laugh. Like if it is totally something that um, would speak to your ideal person, whether it's a, a funny thing about menopause or a funny thing about um, young moms, you know, parenting, whatever your niche is, then by all means do that occasionally. But really what you want your text messages to be are helpful. So if it's a sale, send it on. I'm all about a sale. But if you're sending that three times a week, that becomes annoying. So you really have to space this out. So ask yourself, what is the purpose of your text? Where do you want to drive traffic? Do you want to drive tra traffic to your website, to your Facebook page, to your Facebook group, to your Instagram account, to your blog post that you've written? So that is important because that's what's going to go into these text messages. You do not want 100% of your messages that go out to be completely promotional. Be helpful. Send out tips occasionally. Send out, you know, the, the things that I was talking about in the previous video about, you know, something that you're going to send them as a helpful tip or three tips or whatever. Do that same kind of thing occasionally just to be helpful. So if you've done a um, video recently and you were given out a tip for um, the travel season or how to, you know, get your, how to nourish your skin, you know, now that winter is coming to a close or whatever your industry might be, come up with something that you could text them that might send them to that video that you posted on Facebook. If you've got low engagement in your Facebook group, then maybe you send out a text message with the link to your group and just letting them know, hey, I posted a video with my top three tips for whatever, and I want to make sure you saw it. Here's the link. And if they're not in the group, then they can click and, you know, you can even say that. And if you're not already a member of my group, you're welcome to join us. Just keep things short, sweet, to the point. Um, we tend to want to be wordy in our messages because we want to make sure that they get all the met all of the information that they need but sometimes it can be too long when the messages are too long I think people will read maybe the first five lines or so and then if it's not of an interest if it's not kind of a call to action or they feel like they're going to get something out of this that's helpful to them they might just get, move off of that text message um the the great thing about text messaging we all know it. Our phones are right here. Here's mine sitting right here by me. And when I get a message, more than likely, unless I have notifications off, like right now I do, um, I'm, I'm going to pick up that phone when I'm finished doing this video and I'm going to see, did I have any text messages? It's It pops up. I mean, we see our text messages. So text messaging in your business is, it can be a game changer. It really can. I'm not trying to be dramatic. I'm just telling you the facts. We have students in our Social Tech Academy that on a regular basis, they use Project Broadcast and they see results because what it does is when you send out that text message, maybe they weren't even planning on buying anything from you or shopping today, but because you sent them that message, it brings you top of mind and reminds them, oh yeah, I really love that scent that she sells. I love those candles that she sells. Oh my goodness. I saw her the other day on Facebook doing show me how to do my eyelashes or my eyebrows or whatever. And I'm going to get that stuff she's selling. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to buy it. So if you can provide a link, that's always going to be so easy for them to tap and not necessarily shop, but sometimes shop. Really what this lesson is all about, we have a downloadable PDF. It's um, down here below this video. And I'm actually going to share my screen here and just go over a couple of examples with you. Or most people ask us, what do I say? <laughs> I don't even know what to say besides, hey, I'm having a sale. Hey, I've got new product. And those are good and important things to send out. But there's other things that you can say. In brackets, that's what you're going to fill in, your, your information that fits your business. 
the one of the most important things I can tell you about text using text messaging in your business is you want to keep it so friendly that when that person reads that message, they feel like they're the only ones getting it. And that's going out to your whole text list. It's not just going to them, but you want them to read it as if you're talking just to them. So the less promotional you sound, some are just going to sound promotional and it's okay. But the less promotional you sound, the more likely they're to read it and even more likely that they are to click on the links that you provide. Using templates within Project Broadcast is such a good way to save you time. So for example, if you have a, a promo that you have like once a quarter, so you're gonna set up a template, which is gonna have the bones of the text message. And all you're gonna do is every time this promotion or whatever it is that's happening over and over comes up, you'll go in and change you know, the new spring catalog is launching on Monday, April, whatever. So the template's there. You've created it in Project Broadcast, but you're just going to tweak it and that saves you time. You can schedule these text messages so that you're not having to cram in the moment and try to figure out what to say. Look, we know that you are, you're it. <laughs> you're the one doing your business. And most of, most of you don't have assistants out there helping you. Some of you might but most of you are doing this all on your own. So the more you can use these templates and schedule them, oh my goodness, you're going to you're going to feel so good because you're going to know that you're keeping yourself top of mind, you're going to be serving your customers, your text list, but you're not doing everything in real time. And that is when the stress hits. We feel like, oh my gosh, I haven't sent a text in 2 months and I've got to send something out. So let's keep you from doing that by using templates. If you don't know how to do that, then that text uh, marketing for business course is for you.